Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education, I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about the introduction of exponent part 8, which is using what we have learned so far to uh, simplify exponent expressions, especially for the complex one. Okay, the part 7, I focus more on the negative exponent. In part 8, I focus more on the fractional exponent. All right, so please make sure you watch uh, the first seven part before you proceed. Uh, this is very important. Otherwise, it's really hard to follow in here. All right, let's see the questions here. Okay, so a to the power of five times to the a to the power of negative one half. So if it's, it's pretty hard to see here, it's a negative sign here. All right, so a to the five times to the a to the negative half. So power times power equal to power what? Add up, right? So it will be a to the five plus negative one half. Okay, so how much is this? A to the five, which is a ten to the half, ten half, right? Minus one half, so equal to a to the power of nine half. Okay, let's convert it because a fractional exponent should be converted into radical, right? So a to the power of nine, and then root of two. If root of two, we don't write here; otherwise, we write number here. Remember, that's from part uh, four or five, I think. All right, so that's done. Next one. So we have this, 27, these things. A lot of students do this. 27 and then a to the power of half times two over three, and then they're done. Uh, don't do that because two over three is not only applied to these terms, it's also applying to these terms. So 27 is another term here. So we have to do this, 2 over 3 as well. OK, so let's find out how much is this. 27 to the power of 2 over 3. How do we do that? 27 to the power of 2 root of 3. OK, so if you're doing 27 square, uh, you're going to have like a very huge number. And then you pretty hard to follow how much exactly after square root is, the cube root is. Okay, but remember this, we have a, a to the power of b to the power of c going to equal to a to the power of c to the power of b. So we can switch the inside outside because we're going to multiply them later, right? So we can do the cube root first and then square later. A square uh, later, yes. All right, so we can these things just equivalent to this. These two are pretty much the same. We all know cube root of 27 is how much, right? Cube root of 27 just equal to 3. 3 squared is 9. Done. Okay, so just 9. And then a to the 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. We can cancel this. Right? Power of power equal to power multiply. This, so it will be a to the power of 1 over 3. And then the fractional exponent supposed to become what? Radical, right? So it will be a to the power of root of 3. It's not root of 2, so you have to write 3 here. All right? Good. Next one. OK, next one is like a little bit complex, right? A lot of terms is all negative and the fraction is really very complex. All right, don't, don't panic. Let's see what we can do here. So first thing, see what if we can simplify inside. 9, 16, no way. A, B, there's no way to cancel out. So we cannot do anything. So we just apply the power in. Okay, so 9 to the power of negative 3 over 2. And then a negative 2 to the power of negative 3 over 2. Or 16 to the power of negative 3 over 2. And then b negative 4 to the power of negative 3 over 2. OK, so a lot of terms, but don't panic. We're going to do these things one by one. All right, so let's uh, clean this up to save some space here. OK. All right, so let's use a different color pen here. I'm going to do 
9 to the power of negative 3 over 2 first. 9 to the negative power 3 over 2. So we can just change to 1 over 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay? And then 9 to the power of 3 over 2 just equal to 9 cube root of 2. Right? Or we can do root 9 first and then cubic. Okay? So that's how much? That's 3 square cube root of uh, cube will be 27. And then that is equal to 27. So entire thing is equal to 1 over 27. All right? Good. Let's see next one. The 16. 16 is kind of the same. 16 is 1 over 16, 3 over 2. It's, everything is the same. 16 is root, which is 4 cubic is 64. So 1 over 64. So these things become 1 over 27. These things become 1 over 64. All right, good. The so next one, let's change different color pen here. Uh, blue one, okay. Power, power equal to power multiply. So negative 2 times negative 3 over 2 just equal to a to the power of 3, and that's it. Okay, negative, negative cancel, 2 and 2 cancel, just 3 left. Here, negative 4 times negative 3 over 2, just equal to b, uh, that's positive 6. Okay, so we're going to have 1 over 27, 8 cube on the top, 1 over 64, b6 on the bottoms. Okay, 1 over 27, over 1 over 64. Is this just equivalent to 1 over 27 uh, times the 64 over 1, right? So, which is 64 on the top, 27 in the bottoms. All right, so this entire thing is just equal to 64 over 27 a cube b6. That, was, that will be the final answer, okay? So, I'm doing a little bit quick. So, if you hard to follow, Please pause the video and then do it yourself. It is very important. Okay, watch me doing it. It's always easier. However, if you try to do it yourself, you will find uh, sometimes it's not that simple. Okay, you have to do it yourself to make sure you have learned this. Okay, good. The next one. Uh, next one is not that bad. A uh, 2 to the power of negative 5 over 4 times 2 to the power of negative 4 over 3. Okay, so they have the same base, so same base multiply just to power, multiply power equal to power add up, right? Equal to 2 to the power of negative 5 over 4 plus negative 4 over 3, okay? So that's common denominator. So uh, that's how much? That's uh, times 3, 15, and then 12, negative and then we need a times a 4 here, it will be 16, 12, 12, sorry, on the bottoms, okay? So negative 15 minus 16 equal to negative 31 over 12. So equal to 2 to the power of negative 31 over 12. I know it's a big number, but nothing, nothing wrong with that, okay? So first things equal to 2 to the positive 31 over 12 and 1 over 8. The next step is the 1 over 8, 12 to the power of 31, root of 12. And that's it. Again, please pause the videos and then do it yourself. Okay, sometimes until you do yourself, you don't realize how much things you don't know. Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment below. I will answer your question in my next video. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. It means a lot. Thank you so much.